Hey everybody, it's Brad and Brooke from the Shed Barbecue and Blues Joint in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Today we are using the Prairie Fresh pork loins for what we consider to be a showstopper on the middle of your holiday table. Absolutely. We're going to run through all the elements of this showstopper so that you can make it at home and satisfy everybody around that dinner table this year. Now's the time to pause the video. Read the ingredient list and recipe. Take a minute to get everything you need and then come back and follow us step by step as we prepare this recipe. This has got a lot of moving parts to it. So I'm gonna get started with the meat prep. What I'm gonna do is uh, cut the loin open in two different slices and uh, get ready for the stuffing, which this isn't your ordinary stuffing. I mean, what do we got here, Brad? Oh my goodness. So I am gonna run through the stuffing recipe while Brad starts to prepare this beautiful Prairie Fresh large loin. Um, and we'll start now. And I'll tell you what, with this stuffing, just like Brad said, it's not your ordinary stuffing. It is packed full of different dynamic flavors. As you can see, we have a lot of spices and seasonings that are gonna go into this. With any good stuffing, I love to start with a day old French bread. And I've taken that day old French bread, it's nice and firm, and cut it up into small little pieces. Um, but we really wanna build this rub and make sure the rub's right. So I'm gonna run through that real quick. We've got salt, parsley. Now these are equal parts of each spice. Celery seed, dill weed, onion powder. Mm, smells so good already. Yes. Rubbed sage. We have marjoram, black pepper, red pepper. Now on those, they're half parts. So everything is an equal part. On the pepper, I cut it in half because we also have ginger, which puts a little heat element in there and a beautiful flavor. We've got garlic salt, cumin, sage. One of my favorite all time flavors in this whole entire world is coriander. We have lemon. Now this is a powdered lemon. You can substitute lemon zest. We also have oregano and it's the holidays. Don't forget the cinnamon. So we're gonna stir this up. This is our rub. Now this is gonna make more rub. It was a tablespoon of all of, of each spice and then a half of a tablespoon of the two peppers. This is gonna be more seasoning than we need for the stuffing because we wanna have leftovers. It's good on anything. If you've got pork chops <laughs> or anything else you wanna throw on the grill the next day, um, this is just a great spice to always and a rub to always keep in your cabinet. All right. On this, this is the large loin that I've opened up or uh, somewhat butterflied. Uh, this also works great with the smaller tenderloins. Um, they're available in your grocery store. Uh, Prairie Fresh, anytime you see that brand on a piece of pork, you know it's premium yes. quality. It's what you want to feed your family during the holidays. So I've got my side done on the meat prep. All right, well, let's whip up this stuffing. So we have our rub. Um, I have already gone ahead and taken the step to render down what we call Trinity in the South, which oh, is yeah. onion, celery, and bell pepper. And then I added some parsley to that. So I'm gonna mix all this stuff in together. Now I've also rendered down some bacon. I did saute the Trinity in the bacon grease after I, after oh, I cooked the bacon. Oh, secret, secret job. Yes, yes. This is about two ounces of finely ground Parmesan and about two to three ounces of finely ground uh, Gruyere cheese. If it was me, I'd put all the cheese in there. Let's but, do it. You know, I'm kind of cheesy. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so all of our dry seasonings are in. Now let's go ahead for this. Aha. Uh -huh. Smell that. On the rub, although it looks easy because we had everything set out, that's really the way to plan out your holiday meal is have everything there on the table ready on the countertop, prep it the night before, a way you can do what is most uh, fun with um, during the holidays, and that's hang out with your family. And uh, even if they're not at your house, we might have to do it virtual this year, but they're going to want to know what you're cooking, and this is the showstopper recipe. 
That is when you need smell-o-vision, right? Smell-o-vision. Okay, I did not. I, you know, I've, we've made this so many times. I'll, in, the, in the recipe, we'll have some portions for you. But really, it's, it's just about um, to your personal preference on, on, the, on how much spice you use or how much seasoning you use. If you want to kick up the heat, go for it. Add some extra pepper. If you love coriander like me, add some extra coriander or garlic. Now, I've got the dry spice in there, our bacon, our trinity, and we're going to go with a little bit of chicken broth. We want this pretty moist, but not too moist because we're going to stuff it in that loin. So I'm going to start. You know, dressing uh, or stuffing is like, it's a, it's a pretty hot topic this time of year. So if your grandma or mom or dad or sister just happens to make the most famous dressing that the whole family loves, have her make an extra pan and then you can put it in here. That's really what it's all about. Um, those nice home style flavors. So we're going to add a little bit. That was two cups of chicken broth. You can also use vegetable broth if you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more, but I also have three eggs. Um, if you have large eggs, do use two, but this is uh, three eggs because they were a little bit on the small to medium size that were lightly whipped. And that egg, when it cooks and it heats up, is gonna be you know, your binding agent for the, what makes it, the stuffing. That's what makes it stuffing. We're gonna add the egg before we decide if we wanna add a little bit more chicken broth. It looks like we're good. Good to go. Looks pretty yummy. And I like to stir this just because we're going to stuff it in this, tin, this beautiful loin. I'm going to really stir this and get it nice and compact. If I was going to just put this in a baking dish and bake it and not stuff a protein with it, then I would leave it more light and airy and fluffy. We're really going to stir this guy down. And then also, what, what other element yeah. do you have outside of the stuffing? Because I'm really excited I'm thinking, about this. It's like the whole dinner plate yeah, so in the loin. One thing we're not going to show you how to make today is mashed potatoes <laughs> and gravy. I mean, why? So mashed potatoes are definitely going the first item in this loin. So we're making different layers of flavor. Uh, this can be the centerpiece, the showstopper. Once you see a slice of this with all this goodness, with some gravy on the top, mm -hmm. oh man. All right, yeah. so I will say one element I love in mashed potatoes is heavy cream. True. A lot of people, um, there's not a, a lot of people love the heavy cream, some don't, they just like to use butter. Uh, I have a friend who will toss a little bit of ranch dressing in there too, which is pretty, it's pretty I like, yummy. I like garlic a lot. Um, <laughs> Sour cream, of course. I mean, you know. Yeah, any any kind of cream. Heavy, heavy cream really is delicious and and be, keeps because good of integrity. the because of the stuffing having a lot of the seasoning. We're also going to use some of the rub on the outside of the loin once we get it stuffed. So you don't want to do too much to the mashed potatoes um, to where it can actually just be a receiver of what these flavors are all about and that's that holiday cheer yeah, oh so and hey what about that holiday cheer glaze oh. that we made we'll talk about that here shortly but let's get this thing going okay. i've got some uh some twine work gotta tie this thing up might take me a second mashed potatoes mashed now potatoes. as brad said we didn't put a lot of seasoning in the mashed potatoes i'm a little bit of salt they were russet potatoes that i peeled boiled down heavy cream and butter just which is delicious just like that um, but we don't want to compete too many too many flavors so those mashed potatoes are just nice and buttery so i already know there's gonna be some people want leftovers of this so all right let me see some stuffing all right again if you want a show stopper in the middle of that holiday table this year Go to the grocery store, buy the biggest, most beautiful prairie fresh loin you can find and carve it down like Brad did, prepare it down, cut it down and stuff it with mashed potatoes made with heavy cream and butter and our stuffing recipe, which is just flavor packed. And it it's smells like, so great. It's delicious. We're going to cook this on a grill today, but this can be cooked in the oven. Uh, this can be cooked at your friend's house. You show up with this and say, I need somewhere to cook it. They're going to find somewhere to put it. <laughs> They're going to find some place to put it. Absolutely. And you know, right. on the grill, I think we're going to use a pellet smoker today. We are. And I like a good combination of different woods. Um, I believe we've got some pecan. 
And some apple. And a little bit of cherry. And a little bit of cherry. Pecan apple, a little bit of cherry on the pellet. All right, so I've got this here. It smells so good. So I'm gonna grab me some butcher's twine. You gotta get enough that, uh, see that, oh, that little cute little. Oh, I oh, saw that. so sweet. And then I have a, a thing here that's called a loop turner. It's actually made for sewing. Uh, it's got a little hook on the end and it's gonna allow me to uh, hopefully sew this thing up into a pretty, pretty little package here. Start at the end. If you do a double knot or roll it through again, it'll actually hold nice and tight. And I'll put one more knot in it. Then at that point, oh my goodness, I'm gonna go for it. What's cool Yum. about this little unit? See, I can go from side to side. Hook up my twine. I can pull it back through. gonna do it again. We're gonna roll all the way through this. Try to make sure. Don't get too much on the secret. You gotta have it pull it out a little bit. That way when you pull through it goes all the way through. So now on this one I'm gonna tighten it up. Just hoping that I made made my line long enough here that we'll see okay so as you see we have this beautiful pork loin we've stuffed it with mashed potatoes with a absolutely just dynamite stuffing french bread stuffing recipe which you'll have here on the prairie fresh site um, and then now brad's tied it up and then we're going to top it with a little bit of butter and some more Parmesan cheese, which is also in the stuffing, as well as Gruyere cheese. And we are gonna put it on the smoker with some apple wood, cherry wood, and pecan wood until she reaches about 150 to 155 and pull it off, let her rest. Actually, we have to talk about the glaze yes. too. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. We you're have right. a holiday glaze that we're gonna share with you as well. And throughout the cooking process, we'll be glazing the pork. And that will just add another level of holiday cheer to this showstopper recipe. Holiday cheer, I like it. All right, so again with the, with this tying it, I wanna make sure I leave a little bit of room at the end. I didn't make it too tight, so it's still got some room to expand. I wanna kinda of make sure that the stuffing is down in there. We're gonna go with some butter. Yep. Oh, come on. I did trim a little bit of uh, the silver skin off of this loin just because I knew and then also made a miscut and accidentally cut this off of there. So when you do that, just make sure you cook it up. Everybody loves the leftovers <laughs> and nobody's perfect. <laughs> That's right. But I tried real hard. I'm not going to lie. You did a beautiful job. I mean, job. I really did. You did a beautiful job. You could split that one. It's a little thick. Another know. good thing about Teaching cooking this on the smoker outside is you might get a little break from the family. I don't know. Sometimes people like Wait, that. Wait, I'm your sister. Are you referring to me? No, no, no. You Just, need a break? You know, you know, me and Dad will be out in the yard talking about the big game. That's true. Oh, my We're talking about goodness. everybody. <laughs> All right, so seasoning, and then we're going to go to the grill. We're going to use the same seasoning yep. as we did with the dressing. A way it brings this entire meal together because this isn't just a stuff one we've also got two of the most popular side dishes that the holidays have to offer beautiful boom so that let's get her the, on the smoker the prairie fresh stuffed loin with mashed potatoes and some amazing dressing all right, Brooke, what you think? Oh, I think it smells divine, and we haven't even cooked it yet, and it looks delicious. If that is not a showstopper, there's not one out there. And it's really heavy. I'm not going to lie, people. So it's time to bring this showstopper to the grill. Well, let's go. Now that we have our mashed potato and savory stuffing stuffed prairie fresh loin, 
on the grill at about 400 degrees, we're gonna start whipping up a holiday glaze that will tantalize the taste buds. And it'll also make your house smell amazing. No candles needed when you got this holiday glaze on the stove. We yep. start with local honey. We always, you know, go to the farmer's market, spend some money on some good local honey. That's really the main base of this recipe. Got some allspice in there, which mm, it's got cinnamon and all kind of good stuff in there. A little bit of our Southern sweet, the Shed barbecue sauce. A little bit of Cairo syrup. You're doing it right. You got some of that in the pantry, especially for the holidays, yep. not just for pies. But this glaze, you can see it's versatile. It works on everything. It's a beautiful red color. We use a little bit of maraschino cherry juice for that. Uh, you can also use grenadine. Um, but this right here is what makes the holidays just, just amazing. We made it back, y'all. Safe and sound. From with, the grill. From the grill <laughs> with this amazing stuffed prairie fresh pork loin. I can't wait. I mean, the smells in here are over the top. Uh, it's what the holidays should be like. Just can't stop smiling. Very I mean, true. at some point that we have to cut this yes. showstopper. I, I mean, I have a knife. I'm, I am ready. It's not very often to cut that this I'm thing. speechless. I mean, this is serious. She's beautiful. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, happy holidays. I'm going to cut this bad boy. Let's see what we're working with here. So, we have. Oh, man. Prairie fresh loin stuffed with mashed potatoes and an amazing savory stuffing. We put a Parmesan crust on the top in our holiday glaze. Oh wow. Check this out. Bam. Look at that. You have a beautiful pork. Look at that beautiful smoke ring. Glaze mashed potatoes with heavy cream and butter, savory stuffing. Parmesan cheese on the top, and gravy. I Oh man, one more, one more gravy. I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, ba back it up, it. brother. Let me see it. Get my fork. Right. I'm ready. <gasps> Get a little piece of everything, a little bite of everything. Oh man. I'm going in. Been waiting going all in. day for this. Going in. So the holidays are about waiting on the food and then <laughs> when it hits you get a big plate oh. like that like that i'm trying to get every bite every element look at that come on mm. happy holidays people